In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Battlefield 5 maps in real life. I'll focus on the eight maps that were released with the game, starting out with Twisted Steel on the Nijmegen Bridge. Now, let's be honest here, I'm going to be scrutinized for my pronunciation of things during this video, so give me a break and let me know if I got it right or wrong in the comments down below. I do apologize to those people who speak this language natively. Twisted Steel is one of those maps that when you first started playing it, the thing that caught your eye was probably that massive bridge and you were wondering what the hell it was and whether it was real or not. Now it is in fact a real place. It was a real place in World War II. As you can see I've pinched a bit of footage. Here you can see the bridge clearly from the time. A couple of still images as well. Now interestingly on Reddit someone posted a video of them downloading Battlefield 5 or doing something with BF5 with this bridge in the background. They could see it from their bedroom window so it's quite interesting that it is really a common place in the world. It's a bridge that's used every day and it has in fact been modelled quite accurately I believe in Battlefield 5 bar the part that it has fallen down and has received a lot of damage. It's one of the most fun areas on the map as well, in my opinion. It's one of those places that you just love getting onto and having a really nice battle with the enemy team. Next up, we're looking at Arras. Now, this is one that stumped me a little bit. Arras is easy enough to find. It's not a place that is difficult to spot on the map, or maybe if you just type it into Google, it will come up with the town itself. However, Locating this exact place that DICE have created can be difficult. One interesting fact is that the yellow plant that you see in all the fields is known as rapeseed, and as far as I'm aware, it wasn't introduced to France until the 60s or 70s, so correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I'm not really too sure where DICE have got that idea from. Nevertheless, it is a stunning map and quite a fun one to play. Next up we have Narvik. I covered this in the Alpha and the Beta and gave it its own video, but I will cover it again just briefly. As you can see from Google Earth, this is probably the most accurate in terms of what DICE have created in the game compared to real life. You can see exactly where the map would be focused on. Again, the feel of this map is very individual. It does give you that after-battle feeling with all the ships out in the water. Again, it's fairly accurate to what you'd see in real life. And you also get those northern lights, which is really awesome to see. A couple of things that I managed to spot on the internet that correspond to real life. You have these structures, the remaining portions of buildings, and then, of course, you have everything after it has been completely shelled. The bridge is one of the most recognisable parts. This harbour here can be seen in real life in a modern photograph and, of course, historically. A very special map, in my opinion, in terms of the historical significance of it. And also, connecting to the back of it, we have Fiel 652. Now, these maps on Battlefield 5 are literally right next to each other. If you go on Google Earth and type in Narvik, you can just go up into the mountains behind it, and there you go, you have Fiel. Where exactly it is positioned, I can't really work out, but as you can see here, I'm flying around on Fiel 652 in-game, and you can see the Narvik map to the right, albeit not in the glorious detail you get if you actually log in to Narvik. Again, here you can see on Google Earth, so I've just jumped in and had a look around. This is what you'll see in real life, and it does look fairly similar to what you see in-game. You, of course, have a lot more mountain passes in the game so you can run around and get from A to B. That doesn't really correspond to what you see in real life, but it's this area, and this is exactly what DICE have modelled it on. Next up, we're moving over to Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Rotterdam is one of those maps that DICE couldn't get wrong, because Rotterdam is one of those places where if you're going to focus on creating a map there, you have to get it historically and geographically accurate. Now, a lot of these pics are from Reddit. People have gone to the extent of finding the exact location that some of the buildings are modelled on and then cross-referenced it to real life. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And Rotterdam, in my opinion, is probably the most accurate map in terms of landmarks, streets, canals, you know, things that are just realistic and geographically realistic too. I think the best one is the building here. This building is something that you can go and look at in real life. You can go and look at it on Google Earth right now. It's called the White House, and it is just perfect in Battlefield 5, in my opinion. You also have the bridge and a lot of other structures. Really quite cool how this corresponds to real life, and historically as well. It's one of those that you can look back at and think, that is bang on. DICE have done a really good job of that. 
even down to the details with this statue you can see they've managed to get the detail on that pretty much perfect you have the trams as well that are very accurate one of those things on rotterdam as well it's that individuality and i think that is exactly what these trams do there you can see the flag layout in real life someone's gone to the extent of doing that that's not me that's done it you can find links to this stuff in the description really accurate stuff i'm just super pleased that this map turned out to be exactly what it is now on to devastation devastation again is set in rotterdam this is another one that i've been on to reddit to find most of the information for you can see bits and pieces on google if you do a bit of searching it's one of those maps that is a little bit difficult because a lot of stuff has been destroyed and then dice have altered it to make the map play well someone here has gone and shown you the flags and the locations of the flags and there's a couple of historical photographs here as well just showing the absolute extent of the destruction this thing was bombed to hell it was flattened and then it had to be rebuilt so maybe what you're seeing with the modern rotterdam map is stuff that dice can model off real life while devastation well it was exactly that it was devastated now on to some more difficult maps hamada is set in the halfaya pass and this one is quite difficult to nail down the exact location of the google earth system doesn't really let you zoom in too much and check out around here and of course if you're looking at historical photographs the location is pretty huge and finding the exact location is going to be very difficult i haven't managed to do it someone might have found real photographs of the map we're playing this however is what it looks like in real life fairly similar to what we're seeing at the minute on the game as you can see the water section at the back of armada where the german troops spawn and this is just giving you some sort of inkling to what it's like of course we have aerodrome as well tagged onto the back of this this one is again difficult to find accurate photographs of but there are a couple here that i think dice have modeled aerodrome off of a couple of picks i think they look fairly realistic to what we've seen in game Again, one of those maps, it's very difficult. So if you found something that links to Aerodrome in real life, maybe historical, maybe modern, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below and I'll catch you in the next video.